Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Evelyn, here, and I'm back barefaced again, can you believe it, with another video. And I figure I have a lot of new makeup products um, that I've been hauling recently, so I figured I'd do a getting ready with me, playing a new makeup trying to I'm trying to do this whole beauty influencer thing okay I've got on what I call my makeup dress I have several of these like really inexpensive dresses and shirts that if I happen to spill brown makeup on it that stains it doesn't bother me let me know if y'all like that I be seeing people like do they makeup with like they full outfit on and it gives me anxiety okay um so I don't have a full face of new makeup but I've got quite a bit of few things that I want to try today and I'm getting ready to head out to a like special Le Creuset um, sale. If you follow my Chef Evelyn channel, probably right at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020, I had just went to the same sale. It's back in Dallas. I'll see if I can vlog a little bit or if I'm going to vlog, but that's what I'm gonna do. It's, it's very warm today and very humid. So I think I'm going to do a powder only makeup routine. Um, which I don't do a, a lot, but I want to do more in the summers here in Dallas. So, okay, let's get right into it because my, my last get ready with me, it was mad long. Okay. So, um, this is my new Tom Ford, uh, traceless soft matte primer. I swatched this on my hand when I got it, um, yesterday and i think i'm going to like this better than the gucci i like the gucci this is the packaging it's just that the gucci doesn't play well with other primers and y'all know well y'all y'all may not know this but i like to cocktail a lot of my makeup products so i'm just going to do one pump um i do think it's going to leave a bit of a white cast just because um when i put it on my hand it left a little bit of a cast so since I'm doing a powder routine only, I'm going to go on with my concealer first. This is my updated shade in the Dior Forever Skin Correct. I, this is shade 6M. It's fairly light for me, but when I got, I have a bad habit of buying my foundation shade in concealer. Because I'm always terrified of looking like a raccoon. <laughs> That's always my concern. So... It says neutral, but I'm getting gold in here. So I don't want too, too much of this just because um, it is kind of a hydrating concealer. So now I'm going to do my brows. Let me come closer because it, it looks close on here, but my mirror is right here. Okay, brows are on. And now I'm going to blend out this concealer. I really do want to try something new for the brows. I just, it's just not top priority right now. Even though I was watching um, Glam Girl Chelsea and she was trying out some of the Sephora brand brow products. I will say this, everything that I've tried from the Sephora brand, I really enjoyed from their mask to their, um, I have a blush palette from them. I think my favorite thing so far has been um, their um, lip pencil. I think I've tried a lip oil from them, um, a lip scrub and a stick, which was okay. I, but I haven't had anything that I'm just like, oh, I just don't like this. Okay, so that's the Dior concealer. I'm just going to set it with my Laura Mercier powder. It's... I'm not doing super like full coverage. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos like that I'm, there's like no in between. So I'm trying to work on an in between. Um, and so I'm really gonna set this up because it is it, it feels very luminous. And this is not the area where I need luminosity. So this might not be, while I like the finish of it when I first put it on it looks very golden though with this once I add this Laura Mercier powder maybe it's because I don't have the rest of my face powder on but um that's just not the place on my face to be luminous you know what I'm saying okay this looks crazy because there's no complexion products on the other part of my face <laughs> okay 
So let me now go in. I'm going to go in with a new powder foundation. For years, the only powder foundation that I've ever used has been the MAC um, Studio Fix Pressed Powder Foundation. And let me tell you, I don't know if it's because I'm in my 40s now. Well, I've been in my 40s, like, but I am starting to really enjoy Estee Lauder as a brand. And I've, you know, when I was younger, I was like, oh, that's the old lady brand. Maybe not consciously, but, and so because I love double wear, the foundation, like I love the the finish of it, but I don't necessarily want the, the weight of it in summertime in Texas. I thought I'd pick up the um, pressed powder in the same shade. So mine is 8N1 Espresso. That is my exact skin tone. It looks brighter on camera, but that is literally the color of my skin. I'm using my BK Beauty 106 foundation brush. So I've swatched this. Oh, um, I've swatched this. So I kind of have a feel, oh, that's nice. Okay. I can't even finish the thought. I was saying that I've swatched this. So I have a feel for the powder, but, oh. Okay, Estee. I'm going to go over my under eye just because I don't like a super yellow under eye for my, for my undertones. And that's looking yellow. That Dior concealer was supposed to be neutral, but it's giving, yeah, oh, that's better. The finish. Y'all, do you see this? It looks like I have on liquid foundation. Oh, I like that. This might be the summer go-to. Just a little bit under here. Think we might, think we might, think we might have done something there. It's the color match for me. Like, oh, okay. I'm feeling it. Let me go ahead and do my regular bronzer step. Nothing new here. I just use my LYS, uh, LYS Beauty um, No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Worthy, aka Deep. Again, I like this bronzer, so I have no need to search for a new one. But would I say like I love it and it's my favorite? I don't I don't know. I, I don't feel like so there's still some categories of products where I'm still looking for like this is my go-to um product in this category as I curate my beauty. But right now I enjoy it. I like it. I'm not you know, on the hunt for anything else. Am I like blown away? I don't know if I would be blown away by a bronzer, <laughs> just to be honest with you. Okay, so this is not super new, but I don't think I hauled this because I just bought this on a random day. It's the Cover FX um, blush, the monochromatic blush duo in Spice Cinnamon. This is not new. It's just fairly new to me. Um, I've already used it. This shade, gorgeous. Y'all know my Sephora 96 Pro Blush Brush. Let me tell you, this color, oh. Y'all, I love it. So it's like a slightly cooler version and a little bit more rosy. Oh, that might have been too far up. Then the Pat uh, McGrath Paradise Venus, which y'all know is like my holy grail. Now, I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this shimmery side because y'all know I don't necessarily like highlight like I said I will use a shimmery blush but the color is so pretty but I feel like this is like a good everyday shade oh I do like to take my blush up so I kind of like a like a blush bracket like stronger here and it kind of fades up there so y'all yeah, will see me do that a lot probably with every roll blush I just I like it and I still put blush on my apples on my cheek cuz I want to yes pretty oh y'all I'm tripping I did not put on 
my favorite like finishing powder, which is, this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette Volume 3. If I did wear a highlighter, this is a banger. This middle shade though, for just smoothing all over the skin with my Hourglass brush, just, it y'all may can't tell on camera, but in person, it just does something to just smooth and blend all the makeup together okay let's get into some eyeshadow i'm going to be using two quads today i'm going to be using my pat mcgrath venus and fleurs luxe quad voyeuristic vixen which looks like this um and then i'm going to be mm, am i gonna pair it with this quad, I might just use that because I, I was thinking about mixing it with my Tom Ford quad in Suspicion. But I think, I think given this blush color, I think I'm just going to use the Pat McGrath. Okay, so we're not going to do Tom Ford like I thought we were. But I think this was, was this limited edition? I'm not sure, but it looks fairly light. But the colors, first of all, this color is insane. But I'm probably going to use these two. Um, I normally do a three shadow look, but I think I'm going to do a two shadow look today. So I'm going to go in with the deeper color here. And I'm going to go all throughout my crease. This is my Andy Hot and Flashy A503 brush. It's a big fluffy brush. It's almost like that color that I'm, is like a deeper version of what I put on my cheeks. Do you see that? Mm hmm it's just Pat McGrath shadows are so oh they're so smooth I will say this people love Pat for her super like shiny over the top metallic formulas I will say wow those are gorgeous they're not my favorite because I don't like super shiny over the top um uh, metallic looks I love a softer um eyeshadow look but every now and then Okay, every now and again, she get me. But yeah, I just love, I love Pat McGrath's mattes. I just think they are gorgeous. Look at that. Do you see? It's like brown, but there's something underneath it. There's like a rosiness underneath it. So I'm just going to blend that and just kind of, Blur that out, just making sure that's kind of just blended really well. And then I think, hmm, I don't know if I'm in the mood for the metallic shade, for the super crazy metallic shade. I'm not, so I am going to, I need a different brush. I think I'm going to use this itty bitty A504 Angie Hot and Flashy times BK Beauty brush. I normally use this like for detailed crease work, but I'm gonna use it on my lid today. And I'm gonna go in with this like bronzy metallic shade right here, um, which sometimes Pat can give you a little, oh, okay. Flaky situation if you're not careful. And I like, I don't want a lot of shine today. And I don't even want it super opaque, so I'm just going to kind of give it like the Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I I feel like I'm at that age where I'm like, I need, I need the silence. Like, you know how <laughs> when you were growing up, your parents, like, if they were trying to drive and go somewhere they didn't know, and obviously this was before we had, like, GPS... They would turn the music down. And as a kid, I totally didn't understand why they felt the need to um, turn the music down to give it to where they were going. Y'all, because they were trying to concentrate. Okay? And that is the season of life that I'm in. Like, sometimes I'm just like, I just, I need quiet to be able to focus. I think I want to do a winged liner today. Oh, I can try my new... Um, Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I have not had a chance to try this, so 
this is the perfect opportunity since we're trying new makeup today. All right, let us do this. So I think this is a felt tip. Yeah. Okay, let's see what you're talking about, Fenty. Okay. See how you slide across these shadows. The day I'm filming this, I believe that Pat McGrath is least releasing a new product. And so it just came back to my memory that I was like, I want to see what it is before I leave. Just in case I need to place an order. I'm just joking. I'm 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 not. Um <laughs> okay, that's a cute little wing. Like nothing over the top. Just a little something to bring some structure to the face. We have a very blown out soft look today, which I enjoy. It's not as matte as I would like it to be. It's also extremely humid outside. So we might have to powder it down. So liner. Again, one of those things I have to concentrate on. So I'm going to crack open a new mascara today, even though I have a whole bunch of minis open. I really want to try play with this Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara. Okay. Ooh, look at the tube. This is fun. All right, y'all. I'm not going to use any primer today on my lashes because I want to see what the mascara is talking about. Ooh. I like the wand, a very classic wand, not bulbous. Okay, we might, we already off to a good start because I like the wand. It's very lightweight in the hand. I'm used to a more weighty wand though. So, hmm. I feel like I'm not getting a good grip on my lashes. Okay, let's. Sometimes I have to like go like this to get the product on my lashes. Y'all, curly lashes have their own thing. Not complaining, just saying. Okay, there we go. Because I was like, I'm not getting the height. What is. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see. Once it starts to build and you actually get the product on there I'm starting to see I'm gonna count that as one coat and let's do another then we get to play with these Danessa Myricks dewy lip and cheek products I definitely can feel the mascara build on itself like if you just let it get a little tacky I mean the brush though gets nice inside my innermost lashes and I love that for me it's not giving I don't know what it's giving I mean it's giving something you know sometimes with mascara you have to wait a week or two let it get a little age in there I mean this is fresh out the tube so how are we looking mmm Okay, I'm not, you know, writing home about it. What are the claims on this? This is, I mean, it's a clean mascara, so I like that. It volumizes curls and conditions. I'm not living. I'm not living for it. I have played with these Danessa, My mm, Danessa Myricks um, Dewy Lip and Cheek Palettes. And what I can say is this. Do I like it on the lips? Yes, but I have to put a gloss on first. Otherwise, it's a my lips have too many crevices. So I'm going to be working out of this palette today. I, this shade right here, I feel like goes well with our look. So I'm going to put a little bit of lip um, gloss on. This is, I think this is the only Fenty Beauty lip gloss I have left. Because I, I didn't really like the formula on its own. Um, this is hot chocolate. Okay, so here is the final look. My hair is just in a 
twist out and I have been loving the I am black girl curls method which is like no oils no butter the only thing on my hair right now is mousse like and this is days old and it still looks I think it looks pretty good now we gonna see how this holds up when I get outside in this Texas humidity but this is the final look so I don't know where my video cut off when I was doing my makeup if you see this video that means I was able to capture most of it and I will list all the products that I use down below I think the look came together beautifully very neutral with a little just a slight bit of like a deep rosiness to it and I like it, y'all. This is kind of my signature. I like, I, I tell y'all, my signature look is like variations on this. It's always going to be some kind of softer, blown out look. But today I wanted to do a stronger liner. I like that Fenty liner. Um, I think it might be the first thing from the brand that I have really, really enjoyed. So I'm excited about that. So once I get done with that, I'll probably buy a full size one. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Peace.